Welcome back on this Friday edition of Sonora Living Live. We have a beautiful live studio audience yes, with us today. Do. Well, when you first fall in love, it's difficult to see your lover's faults. He's on his best behavior course, putting his best foot forward. That's right, but what happens when Prince Charming turns into Prince Harming? Well, psychotherapist and author Amy Lewis Bear wrote a book about it. It's called From Charm to Harm, The Guide to Spotting, Naming, and Stopping Emotional Abuse in Intimate Relationships. Relationships and welcome, welcome. to Sonora Living Live, Thank Amy. What an important be here. topic. It yes, absolutely it is. is. And here's yes. what I think that most people, the the um, the stuff that you can see and, and hear outwardly, it's recognizable. Yes. But there's so many subtleties that yes. build up to the dynamics of, of a fallen relationship. How do you recognize them from the very beginning and know that, you know what, maybe this relationship isn't for me? You're so right, and that's a wonderful point. And that's really why I wrote my book, because when people think of emotional abuse, they think of verbal abuse, sure. and it, it's it's pretty obvious. Mm -hmm. But in with emotional abuse, there are a lot of subtle, underhanded tactics that you don't know are happening. Mm -hmm. And I wrote the book so people would be able to identify those underhanded tactics. Let me say that emotional abuse is um, manipul is manipulating another person's thinking, feeling, and behaviors for some kind of personal benefit, mm -hmm. and a lot of that is uh, done through deception, denial, um, power plays. Uh, there are a lot of uh, very subtle things going on, and it's so important to recognize. And that. you know, it's it's interesting because if somebody was getting physically abused, they'd have a black eye, yes. they'd have a bruise. You mm -hmm. can actually see the signs. But so many people hide emotional abuse yes. and shame because they feel like, why would I complain about this? What are the signs that we should look for? Yes, well, it's very important because people who are being emotionally abused, they um, they sort of, the, the abuser whittles away at their self-esteem and they get blamed for everything. So in a love relationship, you think, well, let me look at this. Maybe there's something I'm doing. And uh, you start to feel bad about yourself and you question yourself. So that's why it's hard to spot. Mm -hmm. What are those examples, yeah. though? There are examples. Well, first of all, I have about 80 emotional abuse tactics in my book. Mm -hmm. And in most of them, there is a term that I call objectifying. And that's not uh, acknowledging the feelings, needs, preferences, and opinions of your partner. Mm. And so uh, some of the tactics I have in the book, there's one that I call twist and pout. It's twisting the truth, twisting the blame for bad behavior onto your partner, and then pouting to reinforce that claim. Mm. You know, and sometimes um, the person who's in the middle of it can't see it. Sometimes it's the people on the outside. Yes. Watching the person that we love being emotionally abused. Mm -hmm. What signs can we look for where we can be sure and then we can address somebody that we care about? Or should we? Uh, yes, and that's that's very important. If you see a loved one in an emotionally abusive relationship, it's very important to uh, know what emotional abuse is, recognize the dynamics, and be able to talk to your loved one about them, about that. Have a serious conversation. Mm -hmm. Tell them about your observations, what you're seeing in the relationship. Yeah, there's one line in here that I want to get to very quickly. It says, you wrote, children often blame the turmoil on themselves. Mm -hmm. they they are Kids. torn between their love for both parents. What advice do you have for those with children? Yes. Children are deeply impacted by being in an emotionally abusive household because they're confused. They love both parents mm -hmm. and they don't know what to think. Their their minds are, are aren't mature yet, and so they interpret things in, in you know in a, in a, a child's way, mm -hmm. and they usually end up blaming it on themselves. Maybe it's something I've done. That's why mommy and daddy are fighting so much. Wow. It's a sad, sad situation. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully preventable with the help of yes. your your guide. Thank you so yes. much. Oh, Amy. thank you. Thank we have put so much more information, including where you can get the book on SonoranLiving.com. And everyone in our live studio audience is going home with a copy of Amy's book, From Harm, From Charm to Harm, The Guide to Spotting, Naming, and Stopping Emotional Abuse in Intimate Relationships. Amy, thank you so much. And this is a great read. Thank you.